Dusk, Highland Park, New Jersey, January. I've just been contacted by Maureen and Roger, a married couple desperate for answers. They've been experiencing emotional turmoil because of strange activity going on in their own home that could be paranormal. It is an urgent situation. They want to know who's haunting them and why. I'm on my way to meet with them right now. I know that we can help them, but they have to agree to our unique approach. It's a two-phase investigation, starting with our psychic medium who has no advanced knowledge of the case. I have a physical reaction to spirits. They do something to me, change me. I'm feeling as though there are things being thrown around. Interesting. Then I call in our team of paranormal researchers. They perform an investigation of their own independently and overnight, reviewing their findings on the spot. Oh my God, there you go. There you go. Uh -oh. from... I got a hit. Yeah, look at that. What sets us apart? We combine scientific evidence with spiritual impressions, comparing the findings immediately to either confirm or deny the presence of a spirit. But I do hear sounds of fighting. If their home is haunted, we'll be able to tell them in a matter of hours. There are those who believe spirits remain in a home after they've passed. People such as Maureen and Roger of Highland Park. They've reached out to me due to activity they're experiencing. They've become fearful in their own home and aren't sleeping. They seek validation and understanding. However, before I can help, I need to find out how intense, how frequent, and how terrifying the activity has become. Can you give us an idea of what you've been experiencing? We do hear a lot of footsteps. There's nothing there. Lights going on and off. Patterns on the walls. Hmm. Moving back and forth but mostly the footsteps and the light. So what is it that you're hoping we can accomplish tonight? I feel that there's something in this house and I just wanna know what it is. We're ready to begin immediately. I send Maureen and Roger to a nearby coffee shop to await further instruction. I call in Jane Doherty, a renowned psychic medium, and we begin phase one. She walks through the house without any information about the case. Okay. As soon as I came into this room, my eye caught that clock. The clock that's on the top shelf? Definitely. Okay. There's something there that I feel very strongly, that there's energy coming from it. I'm perceiving that there is spirit energy that will go to that. Jane continues to pull other trigger objects that I can give to the paranormal investigators. With phase one complete, I send Jane to meet with the clients. To call them now because it's very important that I get to them as soon as possible. Now I call our paranormal investigators to the house, led by John Ruggiero, to begin phase two. Using spirit detecting equipment, the team goes room to room. At the same time, Jane conducts a one-on-one -on -one reading at her office. There's definitely spirit activity there. In the one room, I felt a man when I walked in, definitely someone around 5'10", uh, in that first room. And as you can see, Here's Norman's picture. Here is the clock that the medium picked out. The K2 meter is going off right in front of Norman's picture. I do feel a little bit of a cold spot here. So, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. So, there is also one in the bedroom that I feel could be creating a lot also, giving energy to the other spirits that are there. Norman, if you're here with us, could you please say hello? Oh, God, did you hear that? And I, I'm hearing something like shammies. I don't know what, this, what that is. Um, I don't know if it's... Is there anybody else here with us besides Norman? Could you please shout out your name? And that's what he wants me to do so he could feel you in the way that he wanted to always hug you. Finally, the reveal. We present Maureen and Roger with our findings. John begins by explaining that on this case he used all kinds of different devices and they all suggest the same thing. The presence of a spirit, Maureen's father, Norman. Not only did we have one device going off, we had multiple devices going off. Is there something left unsaid? Okay, great. The spirit not only made his instruments light up, 
At the request of the team, he turned them dark, too. Could you step away, please? Thank you. Yeah. And that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Maureen confirmed information that Jane sensed psychically. Well, one of the things that I picked up in the reading is he really wanted to hug her. He directed mm. me to her because he wanted to be able to hold her in an upright position, right. which I assumed he must have been paralyzed. He was in a wheelchair. Where he couldn't do problem. that. Mm. What is also interesting is when we were by the clock and that first instrument went off right away, what you told me in the reading, that the clock stopped at the time that he died. Among the many other findings, we also learned that the word shammy, which Jane couldn't make sense of in the reading, was in fact Maureen's maiden name. Also, an explanation for the name David. And David was his real father. <laughs> and David's deceased? David's deceased. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is that, incredible. A... According to Jane and New Jersey Paranormal, there are ghosts haunting this house, but they also say there's nothing to fear. Everything that's going on here is related to your father and possibly extended family. Right. You've got guardian angels watching over you right here in this house. Right. This is the best place you could be. I hope that we've been able to provide you with some answers, you give you some validation, and let you know that you can sleep safe in this house. Thank you, you Good did. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All Thank right, you so much. on to our next case. Okay, okay. let's go. I would absolutely recommend someone that has been feeling what I've been feeling and that knows that someone is there and just wants to be validated to absolutely get this investigation done. Without any question.